guys, Kelly here and I'm back with you with some more finished objects. I've got one work in progress and that is about it. <laughs> so let's get started. I have done this up north cardigan by making do crew. So it's worked in US half double crochet, UK half treble crochets and then they're all separate pieces like everything is done separate, the sleeves are done separate, the body is all in one but it's done separate, um, the collar is done separate, the pockets are done separate but the pockets are in two parts so you've got the pocket then you've got the ribbon, you have seen them together and then you seam it onto the garment. So. There is a lot of work involved in this, like it looks like a basic cardigan but it's not that basic to make it, there's a lot of work that goes into it. So, this is it, got the pockets, I mean the pockets are side, you know, side access rather than up down. I think if I was making it for me, I'd have gone away from the pattern and I'd do the pockets, you enter downwards, not sideways, but you know we'll pocket in the ribbon. I'm not sure if you can see it, to me on this it always looks far away, but once I'm editing it and once it's uploaded it actually looks quite close and what I can't see on the viewfinder I find that you can see afterwards on the PC monitor. So I'm giving it a go without moving everything right in your face. If it works it works, if it doesn't work it doesn't work, I've given it a go. So yeah, you've got the main body of the pocket, then you've got the rib, then um, you've got your sleeve, and then you've got your rib collar. And this collar took forever to, not only to make, because it's front post double crochet or front post treble crochet, um, like, not front post, sorry. Treble crochet or double crochet through the front loop only. So, you know, it takes a bit of doing. Because you're not used to working in the front loop only, are you? So you have to keep going back because, you know, you've gone through the loops you usually go through. So, yeah, I think it is very nice. And you've got your collar at the top there. It's very oversized. Um, I don't have the print out with me at the minute. In even then, the picture's not the best. But yeah, this is a cardigan to fit my size. Um, a UK 12 to 14. So that would be American 8 to 10. So yeah, it is very oversized. But it's super cosy, super lovely. Free pattern on their website, Making Do Crew. Um, if you want to download the printable, then it's $2.99. So I made this in... Lion Brand Comfy Cotton Blend and this is their poppy colourway. So it's 200 gram cake, you get 392 yards in that, 50% cotton, 50% polyester and it says on here a 6mm hook even though it's a number 3 DK weight um, or 4.5mm needles. So yeah, what size did I use? I did 5.5mm hook. No, I did a 6. It's meant to be on a 6.5, I did a number 6. To get the correct gauge. So yeah, that's that one. Um, this is what's left from 5 cakes. So it took 9, nine something, 100 grams. Right. So that's that one. Then, last week I woke up to um, a notification from Bag of Day Crochet and she'd released a chunky poncho pattern. So I woke up and I'm like, oh I like that. Oh, I just got a load of that chunky from the craft shop. I'm going to make it. So that day <laughs> I started making it. So here is the poncho. So it's really nice. 
And I love this yarn. So she said it takes, um, I can't remember which yarn she used, but she said it takes three balls. So I was presuming that was 300 grams and I used five for this. And I did um, the amount that she did. So I did this in Jane Seabrett Tuscany Chunker. And it's obviously chunky number five. 175 metres, 56% premium acrylic, 24% wool, 20% cotton. Um, yep, six millimeter needles. The boys are playing out and I keep thinking that they're speaking to strangers and they're not, they're just speaking to each other. Right, so yeah, this 100 gram ball. So, yeah, I think that is really nice. And it was a really nice project to work up. And I think she's just released a shawl that's kind of similar to this. So, yeah. Beautiful. Let's see if I can hook that up there. It's not working out, is it? There we are. Right then. Next, I did... The boys are coming in now, I think one of them's crying. Right, so I work this hat, and this is another one of those baggy do crochet ones that I made. And this was, um, you saw it as a work in progress last time, so it was Starcraft Special Aaron in, I think it's the raspberry colour. Is it raspberry? I can't remember. So yeah, I just finished that. And I'm actually in the mood to make some more of them, believe it or not. Then I did three pairs of fingerless mittens. So these are a pattern from Hooked by Robin. And I've done loads of these before, I really like them. So there's this one. And that's done in Aishan's Magic DK. Then there are, there are, there is this one, the same. This is done in Serda Dapple, I think. And then there is this one. And this is done, made using King Cole Drifter which I got at the craft show also. So this one was just a leftover ball with no ball band, but I did make a couple of hats or one hat with this last year. And this was just what was left over. So yeah, got those too. So that's everything that I finished. Kind of out of breath. So, the next thing I want to show you is my Frida Kahlo-esque kind of my own vision. I don't know. You know I'm adapting the pattern. So this is that, basically. So I wanted to show you the two different sleeves that I've done. So this first one is done to the original pattern. And I decided I don't like the sleeves because it's very wide and I'm not really a bell sleeve kind of person unless like with this top I mean that's a bit flowy for me but with this top you've got the buckle on the side you can pin it up with that you can and that would just do my head in so <coughs> with this second sleeve I made the hexagon smaller and then stitched it up so it gives a better sleeve and then carried on the rolls afterwards in the round. So I feel like that one looks a lot better. So I'm going to pull out the rolls of this so I can have it match this. And then I can work on the back. But I just wanted to show you the before and after, like the original versus mine. 
because I do feel like if I've just made up mine, you might not notice the difference, or you might not be able to say, oh yeah, it's different. You might not know. But if you're seeing original, new version, you know, then you can see the difference, you can make a comparison. So I do prefer this a lot, lot more. I think it'll make a nicer cardigan. And I think by shortening it and then doing this part in the round afterwards, you get a straighter um, edge. Whereas with this, it kind of goes out like that at the bottom. But with this, it's seeming to be a bit straighter. So this might be better for adding the length onto the bottom. Might not make it look as funny. So yeah, I just wanted to show you that. And this is all done in Mariner DK. It's going to be good, isn't it, once it's done? Like, I'm super excited. I can't wait until it's done. And now I've got it out and shown you because I've not wanted to work on it. Well, I've been working on them anyway, but... I've not wanted to pick this up purposely because I wanted to show you the differences between one and the other. What do you want, Jamal? Alright, go and take it out. So, yeah, I've not wanted to, I did want to show you the differences between the two before I carried on. Alright, go play out, oh, guys. Please. We love each other. Excuse me. You do realise there's not going to be a bike ride if you're not listening. I promised them if they're good while I'm filming, they can go out the front on the bike ride. And I will sit out there and watch them. So yeah, that is that. Now I can just work on that. And I want to work on something small since I've just finished that cardigan and it took so long. And, you know, when you're seaming so many pieces together, you have to get the seaming just right, don't you? And it was kind of tedious, all half treble crochets or half double crochets. I mean... It's a bit boring really, doesn't it? So, yeah, I want to work on something quick, just to, like, peak my excitement, just to get it up there and then I can carry on with this other very long project. I just don't know what I'm going to do next. <laughs> um, right, something else I want to show. This is the last thing and then I'm going to go. So, if you remember... I had three of these bags full of stuff that I needed to um, unwind I needed to frog. So I've done that and it's condensed everything down to fit into two bags. To have all of this fun stuff to play with. all of that fun stuff to play with. A lot of colours like the pinks, beige, like I've just got so much to play with now. So I'm probably going to pick something from in there and make maybe another one of them hats or some more of these mittens while the boys are playing outside. They stop swinging on the washing line. They're not really swinging, they can't even really reach it but they're trying to get it. I, I'm going to go. So I hope you all have had a fantastic fortnight since I last videoed. I hope you all have a fantastic rest of the week and I shall probably see you next week at some point. So oh yeah and thank you. I've had a lot more subscribers. I think I've had like 25, 26 since um, I last made a video. So thank you so much to everyone who has subscribed. Thank you to everyone who stayed. Oh my gosh. So I've got like, I think this morning when I looked, I had 924 subscribers. So I'm on my way to that thousand, that milestone. So I'll be so happy when I reach that. So yeah, thank you everybody. And thank you for watching and happy crafting. Bye.